And I'm taking my kids in the car. Huh, I totally need some new art. Thank you. Can I help? Um, yeah, I'm gonna go put this on my wall. I'll see you later. Um, Bye. Hey. You wouldn't want to take art off a friend's wall, and you don't want to take art as you build your own website for the Capstone Portfolio course. Let's take a few minutes to talk about how to do proper attribution as you include images on your own websites. The first thing you can do is to make sure that you're using images you have permission to use. The easiest way to do that is use your own images, or use images that are free for everyone to use, or that are allowed to be used under Creative Commons usage. There are plenty of websites out there that have lots of images that fit this criteria, so make sure you're drawing from those resources. The next thing you want to do is make sure that you give credit where credit is due. If you use an image, you want to make sure that on your site where you use the image, you make sure you give credit to the creator and provide a link to the original image when you can. In the Capstone Portfolio course, students have successfully attributed images in a number of ways. The first is to attribute each image right underneath the image caption. Or at the bottom of each page, they have listed all the image credits or attributions for that page. Or sometimes on the front page, students will give a disclaimer that says all the images on the site are their own. Or sometimes students will give one page in their site that lists all the image attributions for their entire site. If you follow these guidelines, attempt to make a good faith effort to properly attribute images on your site, and follow up by reading our FAQ question about image attribution, you'll be well on your way to making a Capstone Portfolio website that honors the letter and the spirit of copyright policies.